All right, so let's think of a case now that's getting a little bit more complicated. We were talking about methane, which has only one central atom. We can also talk about atoms that have two or more central atoms. So let's talk about ethane now, which is CH2. So let's take our carbon, sp3 hybridized carbon, and just move it around here so we can uh, make the Z interbonding axis between the two carbons right here. So if we still have an angle of 109.5 degrees. And again, we still have four unpaired electrons available for bonding. We can make one of those bonds with another sp3 hybridized carbon. So we're going to make up one pair here. If we think about that, that's a sigma bond, right? They're coming, along, uh, they're, they're coming together along the internuclear axis. We also have six spots available to form hydrogen bonds, so we can go ahead and fill in those electrons as well. So in terms of thinking about ethane, we actually have two bond types that we're going to be uh, describing just in terms of uh, the carbon-carbon bond and then the carbon-H bonds. So let's talk about ethane and how we would actually write these bonds. If we have the molecule ethane, then what we're going to have first is our sigma bond that we described between the two carbons. So it's going to be carbon. And then what's the hybridization here? All right, start again. What's the hybridization of the carbon atom? OK, so it's 2sp3. And our second carbon is also 2sp3. All right, so this is our first, our first type of bond here. Our second bond is going to be between the carbon and the hydrogen atoms. Is that a sigma or a pi bond? Sigma, good. So again, our carbon is going to be 2sp3. And what will our hydrogen be? 1s. We don't have to hybridize it. It already has uh, only one unpaired electron in a 1s orbital. 